I'm with Todd Little. He's program chair for the Agile India Conference this year. Thanks for uh, joining me, Todd. Yeah, glad to talk to you. So you have been involved in organizing many conferences over the past years. Um, why, why did you get involved with Agile India, and what have you found unique about this conference? Um, well, I had been, in, uh, Naresh had invited me to speak in 2014, uh, and uh, I really enjoyed it. I was uh, gave, a, gave a keynote there and a couple other sessions, and came back in 2015, uh, and again enjoyed it. And when he reached out and said, will you be a program chair, I said, that's great. I'd, I'd love to try that. I really enjoyed the energy that he was able to attract with um, an international audience and international speakers. Uh, and and I, I just really appreciated the learning atmosphere. Mm -hmm. uh, so many people th that just want to learn, there's really just passion for learning. And, and, and reminiscing back to when we were doing this in 2003, it was sort of a, a lot of that same energy. And, and so I, I thought, this is great, let's be part of that and, and uh, mm -hmm. let's see what we can do to, and, to really take this on. And it seems like a, a growing community. It's, it seems like it's evolving over time. Like, and, and so if you, when was the first year you were here? 20, 2014. 2014. So have you seen it evolve over the years? I have. I, uh, even back in 2014, I was really liking the the, um, the energy and the interest in learning, and I've seen I've seen the maturity, and people are starting to ask uh, much more. It's gone beyond the dogma. Uh, in the earlier days, it was well, you know, help me get, help me, tell me what to do, and now it's more, tell me how to learn to help me get to an agile mindset. I definitely noticed in the in talks I gave the curiosity and the questions that were being asked, and and people. Definitely, ha I, I, I sense an eagerness and an energy here to to improve and to get better. Ab absolutely. In, in uh, 2014, they were a little bit shyer. They didn't ask a lot of questions uh, during the presentations. But once I got into the hallways, they were just asking lots of questions. So they were still there, but they weren't really prepared. To, they didn't really, I think, maybe have the feel like they had permission to ask. And this year, I mean, I, can't, I come preparing my session thinking that I, I'm not going to get any questions. And there's questions all the time, which I, which I love, because I love to interact with the audience. And so uh, uh, I, it, I've noticed that in a lot of sessions, that, that people are, are acting, uh, that are asking questions, and really have a passion. They want to learn, they, they really want to get better, and, um, and I think they are getting better. And this is my second year, and I, I had so much fun last year meeting people, and, and uh, I, I, I was kind of falling in love with the Agile community here in India. Um, so I, I hope uh, I hope you're going to keep coming back to the conference, and I, I hope to as well. Yeah, no, and I uh, reach out and say I appreciate it. This is a community work. This is uh, certainly Naresh uh, does an awful lot to hold this yeah, together. Absolutely. But he has a committee that's been very passionate in holding it. A lot of the team has been together for a long time. Uh, this year we had a, uh, a large community that, that uh, of, of uh track producers and um, you know, the work that you and Sean have done on the media have been fantastic. And so it, it really is people give freely. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that's what we like about the community is they give freely of their time. The speakers are very generous. Um, I think that's what attracts a lot of people to this is that um, the, the attendees can come up to any speaker and a speaker will talk to you and tell you, uh, listen to you, they'll listen. Actually, that's one of the things that's different here. People actually listen. And, and then, everyone and then seems so approachable. They're quite approachable. And I, I like to hear the stories of what's happening, what's working, what's yep. different. Um, I mean, we know that there are differences and cultural differences. I've been working in the region uh, since 2001. I, I've uh, you know, experienced some of the challenges. I think there's some really uh, amazing talent here. I think there's some cultural challenges that have been an issue. But I'm, what I like is the trends I see, uh, the cultural challenges often are people don't feel the opportunity to speak up. They don't, they're, yeah. they're suppressed. But we're seeing that change. We're seeing, you know, in our, in our my dealings with, uh, with, or, or, with, uh, with people here is that they're feeling much more permission to step up. It's not just managers talking anymore. Uh, team members are right. starting to talk and, and push back. Um, and push back on, on uh, and tell, tell when they're working with uh, international teams that, hey, we, we actually have something to say here. We're not just following orders. Absolutely. Uh, I, I've really enjoyed the conference this year, and uh, I'm excited for Agile India 2018 next year. Awesome. And, Me too. Yeah. So thanks for joining me. Thank you.